Hi, this is Heather with Keep It Simple Social Media. So congratulations, you've decided you'd like to create a Facebook business page and become part of the Facebook family. I think this is an excellent idea as social media is a place where all businesses, especially real estate agents, should be. And Facebook is the number one platform to get your business in front of the right audience. So when you join the Facebook family, it consists of Instagram, WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger, Facebook, which is also Facebook business pages, and Oculus. Now, when you create your business page, it's going to give you a great opportunity to create community and reach out to a specific targeted audience because now you can do advertising on Facebook. You can go between your personal profile and your business page if you choose, or you can just use your Facebook business page in order to get in front of the right people. So I'm going to show you in this demonstration how to create the page and just walk you through a few of the fine points about having a Facebook business page. And then in the other videos, we'll go step by step through either the business suite or through the Creator Studio. And you'll understand all of these terms the more you learn to use Facebook. So let's get started. Okay, welcome back. So here I am on my personal profile here on Facebook. Now you have to have a personal profile in order to create a business page. So it's very easy to sign on with an email or your telephone number and create a personal profile. Like I said earlier, you do not need to use it, but you do need to have one. So from here, we're going over and you can see this circle here that is a menu with nine dots. We're going to go Go ahead and click here. You're going to get a drop down menu and what you're going to do is you're going to go over to where it says pages. From here you're going to have the option to create a page or you will have the option to create a page directly from the nine dots. So I'm going to click on create a page and now we're simply going to follow the steps that Facebook is asking. First, you can see the cursor flashing. We need to choose our page name and we want to make sure that our page name is accurate to what our business is. In my case, I'm going to call it Heather Clifford ABC Realty. Okay, and then choose a category. Now these categories, we can choose up to three. We want to choose the first one that we want people to be able to search for. And for me, it's going to be a real estate agent. The next one would probably be real estate services. And then you can continue to look for other ideas that might work for you as well. So now it says add a description. Now you can have this written out ahead of time or you can go ahead and write it out. And as you can see, I already had it written out and saved already. And there's my description. And we only have 255 characters and I've already used them all up. So I might just go ahead and add my phone number as my call to action. And I always like to add a few emojis. I like to have um, message and then when it has phone, I also like to add the phone. And so I have got my description filled in, my categories filled in, and my page information. So from here, it is now telling us we've got our check marks and we can go ahead and click down at the bottom where it says create a page in blue in the bottom left hand corner. Now just give it a second while it creates our page. And there we go. It is now loaded and asking us more questions. So when it comes down to add our profile picture, now I created my profile picture on Canva using Canva. And so let's go ahead and click open. So you do have to have this on your um, desktop computer somewhere in order to find it. 
So it is asking us to upload our profile picture. And what we're going to do is click Upload Photo. And I've already made the photo on Canva 200 by 200 pixels. And I'm going to go ahead and open it. I'm going to drag it into position. There we go. And I'm going to click Save. Now it does give you an option to add a description as well to your profile picture. And there we go. You So you can see my logo is in here. I could have made it bigger. I just quickly put it together for you as an example. If I wanted to change it, once again, I just click on the camera and I can view the photo or I can click on the camera and I can edit the photo and I can make a new photo by clicking upload. Next down it says cover image and the same thing. I already made a cover image. I made it up on Canva and Facebook says that the perfect size is 1640 by 856 pixels. But if you want it to look good on both desktop and mobile, I'm recommending that you go with 850 wide with 350 in the height pixels and I will also write this out for you so it'll be easy for you to remember and let's go ahead and click open and now in the lower left hand side it says save we're going to go ahead and save this And there we go. And now it's asked me to connect to WhatsApp and I'm okay with doing that. However, I am using this number for um, another um, Facebook page, so I might remove it. And then I could, if I wanted to, I could just skip this by clicking the X and going out of there. And it says, are you sure you want to leave? And I just say leave. You can set that button up at another time. So here we have our cover image and we can edit it and we can upload a different photo if we want. We could reposition it to make sure that it's positioned well. Um, and then just in the top right hand corner, you can click Save Changes. Now I notice that my profile picture did not load. So I am going to go ahead and click out of here and see if I can actually reload it. So edit profile picture and it is not loading it. I'll come back to that later. If you find that you have a problem with it, you might have to come back just as I have. Next, you can go ahead and add a button. Now this button is your call to action button and it says add a button to your page. The other thing that I wanna to bring to your attention is Facebook has this little message here that says set your page up for success and they have one of 13 steps to complete. Now we've already done four of them. So if we just followed these steps step by step, we would be able to get all 13 of the steps taken. The other thing I wanna to bring to your attention is we loaded that cover image and it does come out as a post. Now your business page is live right now. And I don't think that you need to really worry about it because not that many, maybe a couple of people well see it at this time, but it's not anything that I think that you need to be worried about. However, I am going to take you into the back end and show you how you can unpublish your page or you can make a few changes. So here we are, we're gonna go ahead and add a button to your page and let's get started. And there's a number of buttons that you can choose fun. I'm gonna recommend follow, that's the button that I like. And there we go, there's our button. And now we can go ahead and establish your page's identity. Let's go ahead and click that. Okay, create a page name. Now this is something we've already done. Choose the category we've already done, add a cover image we've already done, and add a description we've already done. And then we can go ahead and it says five steps less, provide info and preferences. So we can add a website, we can add a location, we can add our business hours if we choose to, the phone number if we want to, and link to WhatsApp once again. And there are the steps. 
Now, the other thing that we can do is create a user name. Now, this helps us be found on the World Wide Web when people are searching. So it's actually a really important step to do. You'll notice in the URL right now, there's a whole bunch of numbers. Once we create a username, It's going to give us a check mark, but you notice I have a space here. There are no spaces in the URL. It's Heather Clifford ABC Realtor. That is exactly what we want to go with. Now it says we can go ahead and take that as our username. So when we go ahead and click create username, we are going to go ahead and refresh our page. And there you go, you notice the URL, facebook.com, Heather Clifford ABC Realty. This URL is the URL that we are going to use to link on a Facebook logo on our website, in the email signature if you want people to click it to go to your Facebook business page. So that is the URL that you direct people to to find your business page. Now, there are a few other things that you can do um, in order to help your page be found now that you have your URL, you have your name. I would suggest that you um, might want to add a description. So you see where it says edit, you can add a description here where this cursor is flashing. So this picture has some information attached to it. And you could create more posts by clicking on create a Facebook post, and then uploading a photo know where your photos are. Uh, for example, I could upload this photo, and then I could give a description and a call to action, maybe a link to my website, if that is a listing and you could go ahead and post it just by posting. These are just examples for you right now. You can click on the more button to see these are your tabs. Now, because this is a real estate page, I don't need the shop tab. So really what I'd wanna do is I'd wanna go in and I'd want to edit this. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. But just before I do that, I'm gonna draw your attention to these three little dots. If you click them, this is where Facebook gives you an opportunity to invite friends from your personal profile to your business page. It's a good way in the beginning if you have to have 10 likes on your business page before you get your URL, sometimes that happens. This is a really good way to go about doing that. And also you can share your business page to your personal profile so people can see that you have a business page now on Facebook. So I really like these options for helping your business page get likes. Now, the other thing that I wanna draw your attention to is edit your page info. And in here, you can look at your name, you can look at your description, your username, your categories, and you can fill in the rest of the information that Facebook gives you an opportunity to do. I'm bringing you down to the privacy policy. This is a really important one and you can just copy the URL from your website in regards to what your privacy policy is. Now we're gonna go back over here and we're gonna click on settings. So it was within settings that I was talking to you about your tabs. If you go ahead and click template and tabs, here you can edit your current template, but mine is probably set up for the service for which real estate is, and I think I'm gonna keep it the way it is. But if I want to remove the shop tab, I'm just going to look for shop and I'm gonna turn it off and any other tabs that I don't need, I'm going to turn off and I'm going to turn on my live so I can actually do Facebook lives. Now what I want to do is I want to drag my tabs to how I want them to be shown on my Facebook business page. Now you'll notice my service tab is turned on. Now this means I need to go into my service tab and I need to add my services because I have created a tab and it is turned on, but there's nothing in there at this time. So this is how we move our tabs around just by dragging them and dropping them. Right now, I don't have any reviews on my page, so I'm just going to 
drag it down and I'm not going to turn it off because I'm hoping I can get some reviews. Now, the last thing I want to draw to your attention is we're going to go back to our page settings and I'm going to click on the general tab. Now, if you're an administrator of the page, you have a general tab. If you are not an administrator of the page, you will not have this page. And this is a really important page because some of you might want to unpublish your page while your page is being built. Now that is one option. Next, I like the profanity filter. I always turn that on in order to make sure that there's certain words that are not going to be used on my page. And that would be anything that's uh, related to profanity, of course. I really like the posting in multiple languages and I'm going to turn that on and I'm going to save those changes. There are up to 70 different languages in Facebook that we can choose from. And that's really about all I'm going to draw to your attention here. The other thing is your page rolls over here. I always think it's a really good idea that you get someone to like your page that you know, love and trust that you could put on also as an administrator in case you ever got hacked or lost your access to Facebook. It does happen and then you have a second person that can access your business page and you simply put their email in or start writing their name and if they've already liked your page, Facebook will find it easier to find them. Instagram, you can click on and connect your Instagram account just by clicking allow and then uh, going ahead and adding your Instagram. So those are pretty much everything that is of most importance. You can go into your messaging tab and you could set up your automated messages for when people send you messages on Facebook. Remember, if you want to get back to your page, you got to click on this little tiny URL right here that is your page name and it will take you what I like to call home. So if you ever feel like you're lost on your business page, just go over and click on home or click on the small writing of your uh, business page name. So now this is your business page and you are ready to start taking it to the next level and building it for community and for success and getting people to like your business page. This is Heather and if you have any questions, just reach out and send me a private message. Talk to me in our private Facebook group. There's never a silly question. This is always a journey of learning and it changes constantly. Remember everyone, let's keep it simple.